What's going on, everybody? Uh, today I'm be bringing you my latest um, Blu-ray 4K uh, slash game PS4 gaming uh, collection update. I know the title says uh, 4K and Blu-ray collection update, but I'm also going to show off some the show off the PS4 games that I picked up or I got for Christmas because I did get a good bit for Christmas. And you know, I just I have gamers on this channel that you know like games, and I'll, I'm a gamer, so. I want to cater to them, and, you know, I just want to show it off. It's part of my collection. It's another thing that I collect, so, yeah, we're just going to show it off. But this is the my uh, collection for December 2018. Uh, currently, it is 2019, but, you know, I've been sick. I was sick over Christmas. Um, I finally got to a point where I could talk, and, you know, for long periods of time without my voice getting into that sick voice, and it kind of hurting. So, yeah, finally getting a chance to record this one. I'm sorry that's taking a couple days for this to come out and my best and worst, top 10 best and worst videos for 2018 uh, movie-wise. But yeah, like I said, I've just been sick. Haven't really had a chance to do it, but I'm doing it now. So yeah, let's just dive right into this. And we're going to start off with the um, games that I picked up that I did not get for Christmas. And also, I do have one digital copy for a movie to give away sometime throughout this video. So just stay tuned for that. You never know where I'm going to give it out. So, yeah, let's just get started. First up, uh, I finally picked up Battlefield 1 on PS4. Um, you know, it dropped in price at GameStop for $8 pre-owned. I finally, you know, just decided, okay, I'm just going to pick it up. And I picked it up after Christmas. Um, I've had the Steelbook of the GameStop exclusive Battlefield 1 Steelbook for a while now. Um, I got it when it first came out because my brother picked up a couple of copies that they just gave him. But yeah, uh, finally got a chance to, you know, put the game into the case and whatnot. So, really nice. Um, really did enjoy this one. I've played it a good bit, a little bit. Um, you know, I played my brother's copy. So, yeah, really fun game. Really looking forward. Glad that I finally got it into my collection and revisiting this. That's Battlefield 1. Um, next up is a game that I almost bought several times digitally and that is Hellblade Sianu's Sacrifice. Uh I really did love this game. Um this finally came to disc after a year of being released in this past month. Um, you know, I knew I saw that it was coming to on disc and I was like, okay, I'm gonna jump up on it and I got day one. Um I sat down, I played it, I platinumed it in one day. Loved the story, loved the game, really loved the fighting in it. Just a beautiful story, uh, really well done. Definitely, definitely check this one out if you have a PS4 or, you know, on the Xbox. Yeah, I think it's on the Xbox too. Yeah, just definitely pick this one up. I cannot recommend this enough. But yeah, that's Hellblade Siano's Sacrifice. And if you play this one, make sure you're wearing your headphones because she has voices inside her head. And, you know, it really just it adds to the element, so to the game. So yeah, definitely pick this one up. But Hellblade Siano Sacrifice. Um, next up is a game that I think that you guys already thought that on because I have an unboxing of the gold edition for it, but that's my brother's. And that is uh, Far Cry 5. You know, I do have that unboxing of the gold edition with the steelbook and the season pass, but I never owned it. I did play his copy. I did beat it 100%. I did platinum it, and I've almost 100% all the DLCs. But it's just, it wasn't mine, so when it dropped 20 bucks after Christmas, I definitely had to go, you know, jump up on this one and add it to my collection, because I do have Far Cry 4 and Far Cry Primal, and I definitely am wanting to get the new deals. I guess it's a standalone DLC for this one. Maybe it's a brand new game. I'm not quite sure. It looks like a standalone DLC, or just the continuation of Far Cry 5, but yeah. Definitely glad that I picked this one up, and 20 bucks for it, you can't go wrong. It's a really fun game, but that's Far Cry 5. <laughs> Next, um, another thing that, you know, I did get for Christmas, and I do need to say, is, um, I did get a PS4 VR, so for the next game, you know, it, I need to say that because it's a VR game, and that is, uh, Doom VFR, uh, I love Doom, you know, the new one, and since I got the v VR, I definitely knew I wanted to pick this one up. So I went to GameStop a couple days after Christmas and got it for 15 bucks, brand new. And yeah, uh, can't wait to check this one out. I haven't had a chance to play it. But yeah, Doom VFR definitely looks like it's going to be a hell of a time. Um, the last 
Well, no, that's um, all the games that I picked up personally. So now let's just dive right into the Christmas games that I got. And first up, we're going to do uh, Battlefield Five. Um, you know, the newest Battlefield game. I didn't pick this one day one because it wasn't getting great reviews. But yeah, uh, got it for Christmas. Actually, me and both my brothers, both guys, we're probably both all going to play it eventually. But yeah, um, definitely looking forward to checking this one out. And we all did get the Best Buy exclusive still book that if you pre-ordered it, you got it. Or I think they had so many that they're just selling it now. Or if you buy the game in stores and you bring up the still book, they just give it to you. But, you know, really nice still book. You can see, I'll show it off a little bit. Get some nice little artwork with soldiers just watch uh, walking in a field. And then you got the disc right there. But yeah, um, I like the Battlefield franchise. I'm not the biggest fan of multiplayer games. If you're new to my channel, if I haven't really said that, I'm not the biggest fan of multiplayer games. But I really do enjoy these. So, yeah, definitely wanted Battlefield 5 for Christmas. And I got it. Um, so I can't wait to actually get everyone on and play that one. Um... Another game that I got for VR, and this came in the bundle, was uh, Creed, Rise to Glory. Uh, I love the Creed movies. Movie. I haven't got a chance to see Creed 2. I didn't get a chance to see that one in theaters. I might get to see it sometime this month. If I doubt it, I'll probably just have to wait until it comes out on Blu-ray or 4K. But yeah, uh, start playing this one. I really am enjoying this game. Um, and yeah, uh, that's Creed, Rise to Glory. I got the bundle for the VR that came with Creed and Super Hot, Super Hot VR. And it also came with uh, PlayStation VR Demo Disc 2.0, which apparently they have all this disc, uh, Demo Disc 2.0, 1.0, and 3.0, all for free on the store, so it's kind of pointless. But you know what? I still got both of these in the bundle. So yeah, definitely glad that, definitely glad I got this one. This one... I guess it's cool to have it on disc. But that's both of these. Uh, Creed Rise of Glory and the PlayStation VR Demo Disc 2.0. Um, next up is a game that came out this year that I didn't have the money to get. But I definitely wanted to get. Um, so I'm glad that I got it for Christmas. And I did not want the Steelbook Edition. Because I have OCD and I have the first two in normal standard cases. I didn't get the second one. And that weird digi book. I waited till it brought out... Brought Wait till it brought they brought it out on normal PS4 case, and that is uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You know, I really do love Tomb Raider and Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is the one I wait for them to bring out on a normal case. But yeah, definitely looking forward to playing this one, uh, getting around to checking this one out. And I'm not sure if this is the last one in the Tomb Raider trilogy that they're making. Don't know if they're gonna make a fourth one. If you do know, comment down below. Let me know. Let me know because I am very curious about that. But yeah, that's Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, next up is a standalone DLC that I'm surprised take, has taken me this long to get because I love the franchise and that is uh, Uncharted Lost Legacy. Um, you know, Uncharted was actually my first PlayStation game I ever played. I got the PS3 bundle that came with Uncharted 3. And that day, since it was the third one, I had to go to GameStop and I had to get one and two. And those were the first three games I had on PlayStation. And so I beat all those. And then when 4 came out, I got really excited. And I bought that one and I beat it. And yeah, I'm really glad that I finally got a chance to add Lost Legacy to the collection. And I can't wait to check this one out. Because I hear it's really good. Um, next up, we got I got uh, Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition. I'm not a big fan of the Fallout games. But I did start playing this one when my brother had it. And he didn't like it, so he got rid of it. But... He had the standard K normal edition, and I did enjoy what I played of it, so I definitely wanted to get it for Christmas. Want to try to give it another chance and see if I can really get into it, and if I can, then I'm definitely going to pick up pick up Fallout 76. But yeah, that's Fallout 4 Game of the Year edition. Um, next up is a series that I've been playing for years and years and years. Um, I want to say since, like, the second one. Like, I watched friends play it, and then I played it, but... That is Assassin's Creed, and I hear it, guys. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, I like majority. I love majority of these games. I didn't like Unity, and I'm not the biggest fan of Origins. I know they changed it up, and this one's just like Origins. But Origins story, I just I wasn't a fan of. I have yet to complete the story. But I hear Odyssey's story is great, and I am really a fan of like 
you know, the Romans and the Greeks and Greece. So I really love, like, gladiators and stuff. So I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. And, yeah, are these gladiators or Spartans? I, let me know down in the comments. I think they're gladiators. But, yeah, um, Sash Crit Odyssey, definitely can't wait to check out. And the last game that I got for Christmas, and it's not really I needed the game because I already have the game. It's more that it's a bundle that came with the latest DLC, and that is Destiny 2 Forsaken. I got the GameStop exclusive Collector's Edition of Destiny 2, which came with the Steelbook and the first two expansions or DLCs, but it didn't come with Forsaken when it came out. So, you know, this was just a way for me to, and probably the cheapest way for them to get me the DLC for Forsaken, the Forsaken DLC. So, yeah, um, just use the code, and I'm probably going to give away this disc because it's just the standard game. So, but, yeah, I got Destiny 2 Forsaken DLC, basically. All right, now we can go to the movies. And I got a good little stacks, a um, couple of stacks. Not too big, not as big as last month, but like always, we're going to start off with the ones that I do have unboxings of on this channel. So yeah, uh, first up is the 4K Blu-ray Digital Comic Pack of The Nun. Now, I did see this one in theaters, and I think I reviewed it. I can't quite remember. I always forget if I reviewed this one or not. But yeah, uh, I enjoyed it. I liked how it tied into The Conjuring movie. Is it as good as The Conjuring 1 and 2? No. But I still do like the character of The Nun, and I love how this tied into the first Conjuring. So yeah, definitely worth checking out if you like the first two Conjurings. But that's The Nun here on 4K. Uh, next up, I got Evil Dead 2 on 4K, Blu-ray Digital Comic Pack. Um, I have yet to have a chance to sit down and watch this one. I've seen the first one, on the third one, and on the remake, but I haven't had a chance to watch 2, 3, or the remake. Um, but definitely going to get around to it, and I did give the digital copy away in the unboxing. No one commented and said that they redeemed it, so if you want to try to get that code for this, go on over there and see if they've redeemed it or not but yeah that's evil dead 2 here on 4k uh next up one of my favorite movies of this past year and that is uh, a simple favor here on 4k and blu-ray i think this one flew way under the radar and not a lot of people got a chance to check it out but it's a great psychological thriller Aaron kendrick gives her best performance out of her whole career and Anne Kendrick is awesome as an actress. And Blake Lively is phenomenal in this. Everyone in this movie is really phenomenal. So, you know, if you haven't checked this one out, definitely check this one out. And I'm not the biggest fan of Paul Feig. But, you know, I love this movie. And he's the one that directed it. So definitely check this one out. I cannot recommend this one enough. And that's a simple favor here on 4K. And next up, which should have been in my January 28, 18 collection update... But I went to Walmart a couple days before the 31st, and they had it out early. And I don't know why, but it was supposed to come out on January 1st. And that is uh, Bad Times at the El Royale. I did see this one in theaters. I really did enjoy this one. Um, I talked about it a little bit in my unboxing. But, you know, I just, I love this movie. I think that this movie is great. It's kind of well-paced. I have some flaws with it. Like, uh, some of the scenes, uh, I felt like, went on for too long. They didn't need to be cut completely out of the movie. Just, they kind of went on for too long. But, you know, the scenery, the storyline, all the different characters, and the acting, it's just all phenomenal. My only flaw is, is that just, the runtime's not really too long. It's long, but it's not too long. It's just some of the scenes felt a little bit too drawn out, and some of them felt a little bit shortened. But yeah, that's really the only complaint I have with this movie. But yeah, that's the bad times at El Royale. You know, I don't know why my Walmart keeps messing up because they put out uh, Philadelphia on 4K on Black Friday when it come, came out that next Tuesday. But yeah, um, I'm okay with them keep messing up if it means I'm going to get them out early and get unboxings out for you guys early. So yeah, definitely got glad that I got a chance to pick that one up on 4K. So... Next, um, we can go to the Dollar Tree pickups, which Dollar Tree brought their movies back. I want to say this past week, but I didn't get a chance to go over there and, you know, look at them until Sunday. I want to say Sunday. But yeah, I got a couple of things. Uh, some of them I've seen in, like, other people's 
you know, uh, <clears throat> Dollar Tree, you know, out and abouts before at their stores, but they never came to my stores. So, first up, we have uh, a Paul Walker movie called Brick Mansions. Uh, I've seen this one a couple times. I really do enjoy it. Uh, it's just a fun little, like, action thriller. I don't know if you really call it thriller, but like a crime action movie. I don't know. I enjoy it, and, you know, it's Paul Walker, so... You, you gotta have it in your collection if you're a Paul Walker fan. The only one I think that you don't have to have is, um, I'm slipping on the name of it, but there's one that I really did not like, and I thought I really would. I just, I can't think of it. It has Michael Cudlitz in it, who's played as Abraham. Uh, if you know the name of the movie, comment down below and let me know, but I'm just, I'm blanking on it right now. But next up is a movie that I really did want to see when it first got announced. It has Kristen Stewart in it. I love Kristen Stewart as an actress. I think she has come a long way since Twilight. She's really got a chance to prove it, prove herself as an actress. And that is uh, Camp X-Ray. I haven't got a chance to check this one out. Like I said, I just picked this one up. But yeah, um, it looked really good from the trailers. I think that she is a phenomenal actress. And I am definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Uh, next up is another Kristen Stewart movie, but it's an older one, and it has her and a huge cast, really, Kristen, Kristen Dunst and Amy Adams, and so many other actors that I kind of recognize, and that is uh, On the Road. Um, <clears throat> I've almost watched this a couple times on Netflix, because I've had it on Netflix here and there, but I never really did. I never got a chance to really sit down and watch it, so... Yeah, uh, definitely glad that I found it on Blu-ray at the Dollar Tree. And I'm definitely going to be checking this one out here pretty soon. But that's On the Road. Uh, next up is a movie that I've never heard of, but I love almost all these actors and actresses that's in it. Especially the main three, the big names. And that is uh, Hitchcock, uh, which stars Anthony Hopkins, Helen Mirren, and Scarlett Johansson. Um... And, you know, the life of Hitchcock is just fascinating to me. I like the work of his that I've seen. I haven't seen too much. But the stuff and clips that I have seen from his movies, I love. And I love the way that he did it, arts. You know, and I just love that he set up this whole generation of horror. But, yeah, um, really um, interested in checking this one out. And that's Hitchcock. Uh, next up is a comedy, comedy that I have seen before. I thought it was all right. Uh, definitely worth picking up for a dollar, and that is uh, Take Me Home Tonight, starring Topher Grace and Anna Ferris, Anna Ferris and Dan Fogler, and Chris Pratt's also in it. Um, just a fun 80s um, comedy, raunchy comedy. You know, just if you go and watch it, don't think, take it too seriously. But yeah, uh, Take Me Home Tonight, really glad that I found that one for a dollar. Because I actually been wanting to watch that one again. Uh, next up is a horror movie that I know that didn't do that well, but for a dollar, I'm definitely willing to pick it up and give it a chance. And I love Olivia Wilde and Peter Evan Peters, so I definitely am wanting to check this one out. And that is uh, The Lazarus Effect. Um, I remember watching the trailers for this and kind of thinking it was stupid, but you know what? For a dollar, it's really worth checking out. So let me know if this one's good or if I should just completely throw it away. I don't know. Uh, next up is probably my favorite Adam Sandler movie and the best performance I've ever seen him give anything in. And that is uh, Rain Over Me. I watched this one on Netflix and I was taken away. You know, I like Adam Sandler's early raunchy comedies, but, you know, watching him and this was like my first drama that I've ever seen him in. And to this day, his performance in this is still the best dramatic role that he has ever played. And I love him as a dramatic actor. So really, really great movie. Really heartwarming and, you know, sad and stuff. Really great story. Definitely check this one out if you haven't already. And that is Rain Over Me. Um, next up, we'll do the movies that I picked, I got for Christmas. Not too many. Um, but yeah, we'll just start off. Uh, first up here, I got X-Men Origins Wolverine. Now, I know what you're thinking. This one sucks, but I enjoy it, 
it's not the greatest Wolverine movie by no means, but you know what? It's the only X-Men film that I didn't own, so it completes my collection, so I did need it. So, yeah, that's X-Men Origins Wolverine, and I'm surprised I actually found it with slipcover. I knew they had one. I just, I was waiting for it with the slip, so, yeah, really glad that I got a chance to get that one for Christmas. Uh, next up is a Pixar movie that I've actually never watched, but I am glad to finally have it on 4K, and I'm definitely going to be checking that out, and that is Coco. I don't really have much to say about this one because I haven't watched it, but yeah, really glad I picked up. I got Coco for Christmas. Um, next up is a movie that, you know, I feel like kind of got hated on because it's um, a young adult novel that got turned into a movie. But I just recently watched it, and I really did enjoy it. Yes, it has some cheesy moments in it, but you know what? The storyline is very interesting, and yeah, I just, I liked it. I had a good time watching it, and that is The Darkest Minds. Um, you know, if you haven't watched this one, definitely give it a chance. It's really worth checking out, and if you like The Maze Runner and Hunger Games and stuff like that, you'll probably really like this one. It's better th than Divergent. Which Divergent's okay. But, yeah, I really did like this one. And I hope that they make the sequels to it. Because I really would like to see, you know, the story continue and finish up. But that's The Darkest Minds here on 4K. And it looks great on 4K, by the way. Um, Next up is another movie that's not real popular, especially in the franchise. But it's the only one I didn't own. And it completes all of my... Um, series and still book and that is star wars the phantom menace um you know i own now own all the star wars movies including solo and rogue one all of them in still book so i'm very proud of that and this just completes the collection this is my least favorite star wars movie i love darth maul i love ewan mcgregor as obi-wan kenobi and i love liam neeson as qui-gon jinn but on that this movie is just complete shit with some fun moments, but yeah, um, Sky Complete the Collection, so that's Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Uh, next up is, I finally got um, a classic, and that is uh, Patrick Swayze and Keanu Reeves' uh, Point Break here on Blu-ray. Um, as soon as I opened it, I was like, watch them release, I was thinking, watch them release this on 4K next, and i definitely pick it up, but yeah, um, so glad that I got the Blu-ray Point Break, the only time I've ever watched it was on a DVD, and it was shitty quality, so I'm really looking forward to checking this one out on Blu-ray, but that's Point Break. Next um, is a movie that I did see in theaters and I did enjoy. It was my first inch watching a movie into this series, and that is Insidious, The Last Key. Um, you know, I just, I enjoyed it. I liked the first one more, but I really, going back and watching the watching the first one and then watching this one, I really did like the fact that on how they tied it in and everything. But yeah, um, definitely glad that I got this one for Christmas. And that's Insidious, The Last Key. Um, next up, I got uh, The Princess Bride here on the Criterion edition of it. I got the Blu-ray last Black Friday. And um, I watched it. I liked the movie. But the quality of the Blu-ray wasn't the best. So I'm really looking forward to watching it again on the Criterion release of it. But yeah, I really do like this little digi book. I normally don't like little books, but they did a really nice job with this one. That's The Princess right here on Criterion. And the last movie, or shall I say, um, TV show that I got was um, Game of Thrones, the complete seventh season. So now I own seasons 1, 6, and 7 on Blu-ray. I gotta get the rest of them. But I love this show. This is probably my favorite TV show ever. And yeah, I am definitely cannot wait for season 8 to come on. Uh, I will be reviewing that whole season on this channel. So if you're a fan of Game of Thrones, you know, look out for that. And also, comment down below and let me know what's your favorite season and what's your favorite moment out of the whole Game of Thrones season series. My favorite moment personally is when Tyrion's on trial and he stands up and he tells off everyone including his dad. I love that scene. I have watched that scene several times. I've YouTubed it 
yeah, I love that scene. Hell, I'll probably go watch it right after I finish recording this. But that's my favorite scene. Let me know. Scene, let me know what your favorite scene is. And how do you think they're going to wrap up the series? I am really curious about that. But, yeah, uh, glad that I got Game of Thrones, the seventh season, here on Blu-ray. And the funny thing is, is when I redeemed the digital copy on Voodoo, it gave me all of the seasons on Voodoo. So it gave me, it finished giving me up season two, three, four, and five on Voodoo, including season seven. So I have all of Game of Thrones seasons redeemed on Voodoo. And really, I only have ever redeemed the codes for one, six, and seven. So that's the little funny thing. And this came with uh, the Game of Thrones Conquest and Rebellion, which is like a little animated thing telling the history of the world. So pretty cool. Uh, definitely looking forward to rewatching this before uh, the new season start and watching this to you know learn more about the world. But yeah, uh, can't wait for the eighth season. I'm really looking forward to that. Like that has been my biggest you know looking forward to ever of a TV show, and I can't wait to see how they end it. But I'm gonna give away this just a copy as we're at the 26 mark. So I hope that you guys have stuck around. I'm sorry that this is taking way too long, but there was a lot to go through. And I got one more stack for you guys. But, yeah, um, here's the code to Assassination Nation. Um, so, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys can see that. If you do redeem this, comment down below to let people know that you got it so they don't waste their time just, you know, trying to redeem it. Don't be a dick. Just show it to people. You know, let them know that you got it. Or let me know that you got it. Just so I don't try, you know, posting it to Instagram or anything. And if you go back and get the Evil Dead um, 2 digital copy, comment on either this video or that video. Let me know that you redeemed that one. Or if it's already already been redeemed if you tried. But yeah, that's Assassination Nation. You know, digital copy. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I have not watched that movie. But yeah, um... Definitely let me know if you watch it before I get a chance to watch it. Let me know what you think of it. But yeah, um, starting off this last deck that I just picked up when they came out. Uh, first up, we have The House with the Clock in Its Walls. Um, wanted to see this one in theaters. I'm a huge Jack Black fan. And I know it got mixed reviews and it was kind of, they, people were saying it's just a kiddie film. And it has that kiddie humor, but... I really did enjoy it, and there's a scene where Jack Black gets turned into a kid, a baby, so it's like his grown-ass man face on a ba uh, body of a baby that took me by surprise, and it's just hilarious to me. So if you want to check that scene out just alone and you don't really want to watch the movie, just YouTube that scene. I bet it will have you dying, but laughing. But yeah, that's the house with the clock in its wall here on 4K, and I thought it looked really good on 4K. But yeah, uh, I did enjoy this one. It's definitely worth checking out. Um, next up, we have Tom Hardy's Venom on 4K. I have I did see it, uh, this in theaters. I don't think I did a review for it, but I did enjoy it. I don't get where all the hate came from. Uh, I really did like this movie. I wish, and I'm hoping, I don't think there is, but I'm hoping that the R cut is on here. Not 100% sure if it is. If it is, comment down below and let me know if it is. But, yeah, I really do want to see the R-rated version of Venom. But I love the PG-13 version of it. I thought it was great. Some flaws, but you're going to have some flaws in a lot of these movies that came out this year. But it's a fun time. So Venom here on 4K. Definitely wait. can't wait to check that one out again. Uh, next up, another movie that I saw in theaters that got a lot of hate. But I personally really enjoyed. And that is The Predator, the new one. Um, haven't got a chance to revisit this. I just, I thought that this was the best sequel to The Predator, the original Predator. Um, I just recently watched the original Predator, but I really did enjoy it. And I watched all the sequels back to back with that one. And yeah, I thought two was all right. The third one, Predators, was just really weird and didn't make any sense to me. So if you can explain that movie to me, I'd gladly appreciate it, but this is easily the, you know, best sequel to that movie, Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, Predator movie. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. Shane Black, I thought, did a really great job with this movie. So, if you're a fan of The Predator, definitely give this one a chance. Don't listen to all the hate. I really did enjoy it. 
and I'm sure that it looks great here on 4K. But that's the Predator. Um, next up is a movie that I actually never heard of, but I love Ben Foster and I love Elle Fanning, and that is Gabble Stone here on 4K Blu-ray. Uh, this is put out by RLJE Films, which put out Cell Block on 99, uh, Brawl and Cell Block's 99, and Arizona. Two movies that I really did enjoy. And, yeah, um, can't wait to check this one out. Haven't got a chance to yet. But, yeah, definitely going to be checking this one out here pretty soon. All right. So, the next one that I picked up, I did get the Equalizer 2 Steelbook um, on 4K. This is the Best Buy exclusive one. Um, did get a chance to see this one in theaters. I did enjoy it. I did see it when I was tired, so I kind of... You know, I kind of zoned out of it in parts of it, so I really do need to rewatch this one. But from what I remember of saying, I really did enjoy this one. I didn't fall asleep because, or just zone out of it because it was a bad movie. I just, I was extremely tired that day. Because I want to say I'd barely slept for like the past four days, and my brother really wanted to go see it, so I took him. And I just, dark theater, you know, silent. Just was kind of, I was watching the movie. It was like that tiredness where you're watching the movie, but at the same time, you're really not because you're like your eyes are open, but you're just zoned out completely. So yeah, um, but I definitely need to go back and rewatch this one. But I remember the ending of it, and I really did like the ending sequence. But yeah, um, I know I'm gonna probably get some hate for zoning out during the movie in this, but you know what? It happened, and there's nothing I can do about that. But that's the Equalizer 2. And blame it on my brother. Because I told him that I was tired. And that I was probably would fall, zone out during it. Or fall asleep during it. And his ass still was bugging me to take him. So I just took him to shut him up. But yeah. Um, next up. And we're getting close to the end of this. Um, next up. I got um, Toy Story. The Time Forgot. The, that Time Forgot. Um, should be forgotten I would think. But That Time Forgot. Um off my Disney movie rewards, um, I redeemed them and got this one because I got all the Toy Stories last month from the Disney Movie Club. So, you know, I just, I want to complete my Toy Story collection, so I had to get this little 30 minute short. And that's the Toy Story that time forgot, which I enjoyed. I watched it and I really did enjoy it. Um, next up here, we got The Lion King on 4K. This is by far one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, I remember watching this one a lot when I was a kid. And I haven't watched it in years. Like, the last time I watched it was on VHS. That tells you how long ago it was. Um, but on 4K, it looks fucking amazing. Like, this is the best possible way to watch this movie. If you're a fan of this movie and you have 4K, definitely, definitely go pick this one up and check it out. It is well worth it. But yeah, that's The Lion King here on 4K. And I'm excited for John Farrow's live action one. I know people are skeptical about it. I think he's going to do an amazing job at it. So, you know, let's talk about that down in the comments also. What you think of that. But yeah, Lion King here on 4K. Definitely pick this one up if you have it. And you have 4K. Um, next up is another movie that I do have a review up for. Um... I'm not going to really get into my thoughts about it, but I thought it was okay. I'm not a huge Melissa McCarthy fan, but two of the movies that she came out with this year, I think the only two, actually, I really did enjoy Life of a Party and The Happy Time Murderers. Um, I really did enjoy it. Um, I don't know what it is about these movies that I enjoyed, but I thought that she just did a great job. And yeah, um, you know, it's just a fun, raunchy comedy with puppets. If you go in knowing that, you shouldn't be disappointed at all. But, yeah, that's the Happy Time Murderers on here on Blu-ray. And I do have faults with that movie. I have a good bit of faults, but it was just, it was fun. Um, next up here is a movie I did want to see in theaters. Theaters, I just, I didn't get around to it. And that is uh, White Boy Rick with Matthew McConaughey. You know, I don't know anything about the true story, but I love Matthew McConaughey. And, honestly, I haven't seen a movie that he's done lately. That is just horrible or complete garbage. It's always been either decent or kind of average or fucking amazing. So, yeah, definitely, definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Because I have not had a chance to watch this one. I just got this one the day I got um, um, 
Bad Times at the OYO. But yeah, that's White Boy Rick here on Blu-ray. And the reason why I didn't get it when it first came out on day one, because it came out on Christmas Day and nowhere was open. So I don't know why they released it on Christmas Day. If you do, let me know. But I had no clue why they released it on Christmas Day. Um, next up is a movie that is a classic and it's Steven Spielberg and I just, I've never watched it. And it got released on 4K. So I definitely knew I had to pick it up. And that is uh, Schindler's List. You're on 4K Blu-ray Disney Comic Pack. I'm definitely looking forward to watching this one. I love Steven Spielberg. Um, I know that this one's long, but you know what? Like I said, I love World War II and like learning about stuff that happened throughout that time period and throughout that war. So any game or movie set during it, I really do want to check out because it just it fascinates me. I loved, I always loved, loved in history to learning about World War II and what happened and everything. So. Yeah, really looking forward to watching this one. That's the Schindler's List here on 4K. And last up is the movie that I just gave away the disc copy for, and that is Assassination Nation, here where Bella Thorne. Um, I thought this movie looked fun in the trailer. I wanted to go see it in theaters. Just didn't have time for it, but came out on Blu-ray, and I definitely wanted to pick it up. Um, I also still want to pick up I Still See You, starring Bella Thorne, and... Um, Lizzie starring Kristen Stewart. I just, I haven't had the extra cash to get them. But, yeah. Um, picked up Assassination Nation. And definitely can't wait to check this one out. But anyways, guys. That has been my full collection update for the month of December 2018. Like I said, that's my last collection update for 2018. Because we're in 2019 now. Hopefully it's going to be a good year. Hopefully, you know, this channel grows even more and I can bring even better content to you guys and, you know, broaden the horizons of content, like do more vlogs, do movie nights, uh, get some friends over and, like, be on it and do some, like, fun stuff with them, you know, get guests on to do movie reviews. I'm also still going to do movie reviews, unboxings, collection updates, and, you know, TV reviews, my typical stuff. But I just, I want to add to that. You know, if you have any video suggestions, I'm open to, you know, hearing them down in the comments. You know, I'll tell you if I think that's a good idea, if it's doable, um, stuff like that, you know. Um, but, yeah, um, hopefully, guys, 2018 was a good year for you. For you guys, it was a really a great year for me. Um, I met my end-of-the-year goal for subscribers. We hit over 100 subscribers. Um, I did a post over on Twitter Facebook and Instagram uh, over there if you guys follow me um, you know you probably saw it but if you don't then there will be links in the uh, description so go follow me I do updates and stuff like that I also give out some of these digital copies instead of giving them away in here in the up unboxings I might post them over there and give them away you know just follow me over there for stuff like that but yeah uh, we hit a hundred subscribers that's unbelievable to me especially since i've only really been doing youtube since like march i can't believe 100 of you guys or actually 102 of you guys you know watch my videos and want to support me that means the world to me y'all don't even know how much i know everyone says that but it really does it means the world to me um another thing and i know i haven't talked about this and i could do more of a video on it but if you go back and watch my older videos if you stuck with me since before may then hopefully you guys have been noticing that I've got skinnier. That's because I lost over 100 pounds. I now weigh 196. I was either really close to 300 or 300 pounds. So in May I went on a strict diet. You know, I was working out and, you know, I lost a bunch of weight. I can see it when I go back and watch my old videos. Hopefully you guys, you know, have you guys who have been following you know you noticed it so 2018 has really been a great year for me and probably the most inspirational year for me and you know going to 2019 i just i want to do way more i want to inspire people to lose weight i've been doing that in my family um i want to you know grow this channel to be something that everyone can enjoy you know i want to bring y'all the best content I can bring. I also, you know, hopefully, I'm saying now, I'm going to say it now, I'm going to set out to make a short film and post it on my channel. So, yeah, uh, hopefully that can get made and I can actually do that this year. But, yeah, guys, um, 
you know, like I said, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying this content. Hopefully, you guys like this um, uh, collection update. You know, comment down below. Let me know what you guys picked up in 2018. Did you have a good Christmas? Did you have a good New Year's? Um, yeah, just let me know down in the comments. But, like I said, in the description, I've linked to my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages for my YouTube channel. You click on over there and follow me and, you know, keep up to date with me personally. I post a lot of, I post some stuff over there also in 2019. I hope to do better by posting stuff over there. But, yeah, um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button because it really does help me out. Also, share it with, like, friends, family, everyone that you know, and people that you don't know. And hit that subscribe button for more awesome content like this because it really does help me out. And also, you know, go check out my top 10 best and top 10 worst movies of 2018. I have put a lot of effort and time into making that list. So, you know, definitely go check that out. And then let's talk about it down in the comments in that video. But yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.